Our first mailbag question is from Christian Sullivan who writes, Hey AMC crew, I love the show and your various opinions. Keep up the good work. A while ago you guys were discussing whether the Greek gods should be in the upcoming Wonder Woman movies <coughs> or not. My thoughts are this. Like the Asgardians in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, why not have the Greek gods as omnipotent, what is that? <laughs> omnipotent aliens. I know this seems like a copycat idea, but I think it can still work if WB and DC can keep their cinematic universe plans in order. Thoughts? Well, first of all, it's omnipotent like Thank my- Thank you. <laughs> like my sexual prowess. Um, that's not true at all. Um, I, I, th I do think Warner Brothers is faced with a challenge that any studio would face dealing with Wonder Woman. They've kind of set up this universe, even with Superman, who is an alien from another world, they try to make it feel grounded in reality. How far do they want to go in the supernatural? Do they want the Greek gods in this new DC universe that they've set up? And I'm not convinced they do. Uh, which le leads, uh, lends some credence to the whole idea that she's, Wonder Woman's actually a descendant of Kara jor who crash landed on Earth however many thousands of years ago. Uh, some other, and honestly the idea of the Greek gods per se actually being aliens, you're right, Thor kind of brought the idea of these Norse gods actually being aliens from another world. It's possible, I don't know that's the way they're gonna go, but I wouldn't guffaw at it. Like I wouldn't throw my hands up in the air and say, you're being stupid if they suddenly suggested they were rooted in some other alien planet. I still like the idea of having Wonder Woman and, and the Amazons being a descendant of uh, Kara jor but lots of different ways they can go. Steve, if you're, you're the president of Warner Brothers, how do you handle this? Uh, this is the big question, because they've been trying to get Wonder Woman off the ground for a really long time. Yeah. I think that we can look at what they've done in the previous Batman movies and what they did in Man of Steel as what the template they're gonna follow, which is not basing it in any sort of science fiction. It mm. needs to be science fact. Mm. You know, and that's what like with Man of Steel, that's why his costume certain ways, that in Batman, that's why, you know, uh, with Catwoman, the way Nolan developed, you know, the, the stilettos had to have a purpose, you know? Yeah. And I think that- Even the ears were actually, actually just the goggles right. and stuff like and that. And yeah. I think that they're gonna follow, they're gonna find a way to make it that the character <clears throat> is based in science, that the, the genetics of the character, the, the superhero abilities, if you will, are all gonna be things you can find in reality that are sort of pushed, if you will. But I do not see it as any sort of Marvel thing where they're gonna go the godlike type thing. Right. Dennis, you're it's, in charge, how do you do it's it? It's tough because DC is kind of painting themselves in a corner because DC, their movies are kind of more the realistic ones, you know, right. with especially with the Dark Knight trilogy and even Man of Steel kind of follows that where Marvel is more lighthearted, you get some comedy in there. I mean, come on, they got Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> yeah. A raccoon with a machine gun running around. Yeah. You know, you got that. a talking tree and a, mach yeah. with a machine so gun. Yeah, so Marvel lends itself to be a little more lighthearted, a little, you know, a little quirkier. Right. And DC wants to go that, so yeah, having, you know, I think in the New 52, uh, <laughs> Wonder Woman's supposed to be uh, the daughter of, of Zeus and uh, what's her name? Hip, Hippo. Queen Hippolyta. Yeah. You know, that you know that's not exactly realistic. So <laughs> I, I, I hope maybe they go with the Kara route then. Yeah, I, I do too. But I, if they find a good way to do it with the with the traditional Greek mythology, mm -hmm. if they find a good way to do it, I'm not going to be opposed to that. I, but I do like basing it in science fact, like they did with Krypton and everything. I like that too. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news, and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.